Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. For all of you who are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And for my returning subscribers, you guys already know how much I appreciate you not abandoning me and how much I need you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back and hanging out with me. I really do appreciate you so, so, so much. Um, I also want to remind everyone I'm having a 50 subscriber giveaway. I am getting there because I manifested it and we are blessed in this house and in this room and in this world and you are blessed as well. So, you know, pretty soon we're going to have a 50 subscriber giveaway and it's going to be awesome. So I, I really hope that you enjoy it and that you will like and subscribe below. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm doing my review of my lipsticks today. I'm doing my Bite Beauty lipsticks. I have five of them that I'm going to go over. Um, and I've exfoliated my lips. I've used a lip scrub. I exfoliated. I moisturized. And we're going to get right into it. So the very first one I have is called Sugar Buns. Now, by the way, just so you know, if you haven't seen any of my other lipstick videos, I am a creature of habit. I like peachy nudes, pink nudes, um, mauve colors, and like a peachy brown color. So I'm always picking up the exact same shades 99% of the time. I have the ex like just a, a hair off on like over 300 lipsticks so far, I think. So, and we're still working on it. So this is called Sugar Buns. And again, this is Bite Beauty. And this is definitely a peachy, peachy color, perfect for fall. I also do not wear a lip liner when I do this, um, but you could always, because I want you to see the, the color and how it applies and stuff for its truest form, rather than me do it and, and you be like, oh, well, that's not the way it looked on me. So you can always use a lip liner. You can always put a gloss over it, whatever you want to do. You do you and do what makes you happy because that's all you can do in life. Life is too short to be miserable. So do what makes you happy and this makes me happy. So we're doing this. So anyway, this is called Sugar Buns. I'm gonna put that on. This is pretty. And that's called Sugar Buns. I absolutely love it. So that one, we are not going to declutter. We are definitely not decluttering that. All right, the very next one. Let's take that off. The very next one is Nori. And this is a very dark, dark, but also perfect for fall, winter. Look at that. I mean, don't you just get like hot chocolate winter sweater weather vibes with that? I know I do. I can tell you. This formula is very matte and I dislike it immensely, but the color is so pretty. Mm -hmm. The color is so pretty, but I don't like anything that is very matte. I, I need a lip liner on because girl, I did not color in the lines just then. Um, not, not a fan. It's drying down very, very matte. At my age, I am over 55. I'm 56. Um, at my age, anything that's overly drying, I don't like. I don't like it, I've, but I've never liked it. I'm more of a hydrating, hydrating lipstick kind of girl or a lip gloss kind of girl, um, but nothing overly matte. Like anything that's very matte, it just like sucks the life out of your, the moisture out of your lips and I don't like that. The very next color is called Pepper. Again, like I said, I have issues. These are all very, very similar. I mean, look at this and this, very similar. Put this on. This is nice. I love this. Mm -hmm. Love that. Love, love, love this color. Again, if you put a lip liner on, it would look absolutely amazing. You could put a gloss on top of it. I mean, you can change it. You can do like an ombre look and, you know, make the colors darker on the edges and just, there's so much you can do. This one is called Fig and I already know that this is so drying that I'm like stressed out about doing it. This is called Fig and this is like a pinky undertone. Look at that. Okay. And even on my arm swatching it, it's just, 
I, I, I can't. I am so stressed out about this. A, you can see it's like literally, literally pulling. And it just broke, which is awesome because I needed a reason to get rid of it. Let's put that down a little bit. It's so hard to apply. This has to be the most matte, matte formula I've ever felt in my life. But it's a pretty color and it's called Fig. And it broke, so we're just going to toss that right in the garbage. I missed, by the way. In case you're keeping score, I missed. I don't declutter lipsticks ever. Um, even when I think I'm going to because they're like my children. And I cannot... I How, how do I say, oh, well you can't stay, but you and you and you can stay. It, it, it just stresses me. All right. And the very last one with the Bite, Co Bite Cosmetics is Honeycomb. It is so pretty. I'm going to put that one over here. And this is definitely a peachy brown. Look at that. The undertone is so pretty. Again, all these give me sweater weather vibes and I just am so excited. Look okay. at With a lip liner... This nude is everything. Everything is everything. And that is Honeycomb. So I hope you enjoyed my little foray into Bite Cosmetics. I absolutely love this. And like I said, if you can put a lip liner on and, oh my God, I got it on there. Okay, lip liner and a gloss, you are all well and good. So with that, be happy, be healthy, be safe, and be blessed, and most of all, be positively you, because there's no one quite like you. Bye, guys.